guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so as you guys have seen Renee's trending um and the whole ivd song is is going everywhere literally it's been out for like six hours and it has 150,000 views and okay in my honest opinion i listen to it i actually really like it i feel like i love the beat uh she looks great some of her punch lines are really good um She's definitely sending for people, and I think that was just her intention. I think overall it was a good freestyle. I think it really shows like her improvement in rapping, I think. Um, and yeah, I think she definitely is going to do things, like great things. Um, but I think like the impact of this song, I don't know if she's ready for it. Um, but in terms of like quality of music i definitely think it's up there but let's get into the music let's get into the bars but before i get into it please don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified every single time i release a video um so she didn't even like walk into it it was only like two minutes and uh, like two minutes and a 50 seconds I think um but she walked straight into it she wasn't playing at all so I want to first go to the part where she speaks about Abigail as you guys know she was in a group with Abigail I cannot remember what their name was for the life of me I don't know um and they did a couple songs together and then they, they disbanded um so she's referring to going solo she says a former member thinks I resent her couldn't take I'm attention center oh okay all right snake pretender got spun in a blender twitter and youtube trender so you can still talk my name when i left ya had to done that duo i think you know cut the evil eye so she's basically yes yeah, she's referring to that situation and basically saying that this wasn't for her she had to leave it and that she's basically saying Ab abigail's jealous of her now Ab abigail still does music but i'm just gonna call her spade a spade so vanessa's doing or ivd is doing a lot better i don't even i hate to compare because it's i hate like it's just they're going at their own pace but ivd is definitely getting more clout more attention now like she's you can definitely see i've seen different type of like u.s celebrities know who she is and want to collab with her so you can definitely see she's going somewhere fast like i would say like she said in her freestyle 2021 she might be on tour with someone. She might be opening for somebody. So I think it's, so next year's going to be a great year for her. But I feel like, I don't know, I feel bad for Abigail. She wants to be successful, but it's just not picking up as fast. And of course, naturally, if you've started at the same place as somebody and they go ahead of you, some people tend to feel some type of way. Um, I wouldn't per se call Abigail jealous, but I think people knowing and just seeing what has happened we can just see that ivd is growing faster um for so for her to reference that is a bit like oh but to be fair abigail did like two or three videos about ivd so it makes sense that maybe she didn't respond at the time but she decided to respond now in a freestyle so i can respect that so on instagram abigail does come out and she's basically like this was unprovoked um and she's really annoyed and really angry which is fair enough um i feel like me personally i don't think she should respond because this thing is just going to keep on going back like the videos that abigail did were months ago and ivd only responded now so if she responds again ivd might respond again and it's just like we need to conclude the situation like I, they broke up i don't know how long ago why it's still being mentioned i really don't know from both of them actually because it's a dead situation they're both doing their own thing great in their own right so bringing this up continuously is like okay so okay you guys broke up you guys are not friends anymore okay we know come like it seems it's very like bitter the way it ended it was very like like it, there wasn't a lot of resolution but you just have to move on now the part that got people trending right now is her reference to miss r fabulous so she says if i did a deed then i might woyoy and as you guys know miss r fabulous has a song called woyoy so we all know that's what she says that's just some period um and then she says because the insta die then so would your career you would be the first to be on unemployed her b-i-t-c-h hmm oh i don't know if this is what ivd really wants because as you guys may know when they were I think they were beefing. I don't. I want to say it was like maybe earlier this year, 
last year um i guess renee exposed some certain things about ivd and she was crying i remember watching the video and she was really upset and i really sympathized with her because i feel like when you are in the public eye and this goes for miss alphabulous as well anyone that's in the public eye i feel like a lot of people say negative things about them and i guess it's really hard to take on that's why like trolls actually need to stop so i felt really bad for her and of course who really wants to be exposed like literally nobody but for her to be like sending for her right now like this, this this is really going to make Miss R Fabulous annoyed. And I know IVD knows this, but I guess she don't care. But she needs to just be ready for anything because you already know what Renee's a potentially on. You already know. We all already know. This guy. I don't even know who Sux is, but I remember just saying Sux event or whatever his name is. Like everybody knows this. So for you to do this again, it just doesn't make a lot of sense like of course naturally nobody don't need to throw hands but with a with someone that wants to throw hands with you i wouldn't really say anything unless i really want to throw hands too like maybe she don't think she's gonna catch her slipping but let's hope so mind you guys today's her whole birthday like this girl is turning 25 years old she looks stunning today literally she looks stunning literally she looks so beautiful um and this is what she's getting on her birthday. So the freestyle dropped on her birthday and she's getting emails and not, not emails. What is, who sends emails? She's getting tweets and she's getting DMs about this freestyle on her birthday. Like it's absolutely ridiculous. And of course, na like naturally she's upset and she does want to square up and that might happen. I know some people are saying that Renee sent shots in Woyo, but she did. But according to Miss R Fab, they squashed it. Um, oh, oh, like she spoke to her a couple weeks ago and they like cleared the air. So for this to be released, it kind of brings it back up. Like, so what was the point of squashing it? Now, I don't know when this freestyle was recorded, but if it was recorded prior to their meeting or their conversation, she probably should have gave Miss R Fab a heads up. And if it was recorded after the fact, then I guess them squashing it wasn't a real thing. And I do appreciate that this, this is just for Miss R Fab, but there are so many girls that live off Instagram money or YouTube money. There's so many girls that live off like that so i'm confused on why like you know like sometimes when you're trying to diss somebody and then it kind of affects more people than just that person yeah that's what that was because there's so many amazing great people girls and guys that make youtube videos that make money from instagram and that's their bread and butter and they make so much money like i work a nine to five and they making some some of these people are making more money than i am so it's like it's such a great career and to be i feel like to be a content creator to be a youtuber is such an amazing job and i feel like it's creative in its own right and it really is a job like it's not some people do do it on the side like i make videos on the side but some people do it as a career and they make such good money they give such good content they're great influencers so i feel like yes that was for miss r fab but it ended up hitting a lot more people i'm sure um ivd is friends with other influencers so i don't know if they will be um offended um but they do say a hit dog will holler and i feel like this is it's not again it's not for other people but this this ain't got no name on it because it affects many people it can involve any people overall in terms of like music it is it is good i actually do like the freestyle but i feel like the ramifications from it it might be too hot um I do believe, again, if Miss R5 catches her, it's going to be on site. Um, she probably should get security or just move differently. Like, don't go to areas you know she'll be at. Um, because it's just this is just annoying. And I feel like, this, especially in the last couple of months, like, Miss R5 has had so much to deal with. Like, that to get this is just, like, another thing. It's just, like she can't even rest i feel like someone's always coming for her she can't rest so in relation to miss r fab i'm sure she will calm down but I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure she means on site and i guess she really means on site and as for abigail i think she should just leave it alone because this whole tit for tat thing like abigail she could just focus on her music and growing um and again if she wants to maybe do a cheeky little send in a song maybe but just know like it's almost like the chip and stormzy thing if stormzy responds chip is going to respond like so unless you want to really go into the ring with somebody just ignore them but that's just my opinion but hope you guys like this video please let me know what you think on the situation did you guys like the freestyle is miss r5 in the right to be angry is abigail in the right to be angry 
did uh ibd vanessa take it too far let me know um so yeah please continue to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video